In this video, we'll be looking at limits of summation as n approaches infinity. We'll be using summation formulas. You may want to press pause to copy these down so that you can have them available when we refer to them. When you're ready to continue, press play. The problem that we're looking at is to find a formula for the sum of n terms in the summation, then use the formula to find the limit as n approaches infinity. So what we'll do first is find our formula for the summation, and we'll basically ignore this limit right here until we're ready to use it. But our first step when simplifying a sigma notation is to find all of the factors that do not have i in them. So I have 2 and a 2 and n in both of these factors. So those I can pull out in front of my sigma notation. Again, let's, we'll just copy this limit down until I'm ready to use it. Just ignore it. And when we pull out uh, 2 times 2, I'll have a 4 in the numerator. And then n times n will be n squared in the denominator. So now I'm actually doing the summation as i goes from 1 to n of i. Well, this requires uh, formula number 2. So let me copy the limit. And the 4 over n squared. And then my formula number two says that this is equal to n times n plus one divided by two. Now I want to simplify this expression a little bit before I try to take the limit. I can cancel. And let me rewrite this. This is the limit as n approaches infinity. And I have 2 over n multiplied by n plus 1. When we distribute this, Two over n times this is n over one. Those n's will cancel, and I just have two. And then two over n times one is two over n. Now I'm ready to take my limit as n approaches infinity. Uh, the limit of a constant. Uh, the limiting process does not have any effect on it. So this is going to be uh, 2 plus, and then the limit as n approaches infinity, remember, is 0 when my n is in the denominator. So I have 